Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moons, welcome to your 2019 Sun Moon reading. If this reading resonates with you, consider a personal reading, rates, info, and email are below. Just send me an email and we can make that happen. When you view this is when you were meant to see it. I'm doing, it doesn't matter the time of year, and I'm doing these in the order of requests in the comments, so be sure to leave yours. First portion of this will be me reading the textbook definition of your Sun Moon sign, so refer to the source below that I credited. I will lay out the main cards, we'll take a quick look at your 2019, and then the second portion of this video will be the link below to the Vimeo reading where I will have a deeper interpretation of the cards in addition to clarifiers, anywhere from a 5 minute to a 10 minute video. I'll be dividing the year up into 4 quadrants. Other things to mention, I am on Instant Go. If you need a quick answer to a quick question at a reasonable price, I'm on Facebook and Instagram where I'm posting my weekly, so be sure to like, follow, and message me. Check out my playlist for your 2018 Sun Moon readings, see if they rang true for you. And then finally, I'll be working on compatibility readings from now until the rest of my life. <laughs> Those are in the playlist, okay? So, Sun and Aquarius, Moon and Sagittarius. The combination of your Sun and Moon signs produce an individual who is very active both physically and mentally. Independence of mind and action, thought and expression are the keynotes of your nature. This pairing combines the friendliness, originality, and independence of Aquarius with the honesty, sincerity, directness, and enthusiasm of Sagittarius. Your personality is friendly and active, expressing independence and freedom in your thinking and in your abilities to see ideas through to completion. A friendly and very understanding nature tends to place you firmly on the humanitarian side on most issues, and you are likely to busy yourself doing something that in some way directly benefits your fellow man. There is an instinctive and deep-rooted love of truth and knowledge that endows you with a noble and sincere nature. You intensely dislike any sham or deception and you will play the game of life and business by the rules. You are never willing to, in any situation, compromise your principles. You admire honesty and straightforward people and you hold more individuals possessing these traits regardless of their station in life. You have a common sense approach to life. Although you are put off by intellectualism, you love to philosophize and dream. Actually, you have the qualities of an uncompromising intellectual, honesty, strong opinions, and a broad viewpoint on world affairs. You are impulsively quick to act on your ideas, advanced and revolutionary as they may be sometimes. You believe in getting things done and done in the shortest possible time, employing the most innovative methods you can devise. Okay, so Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Aquarius Sun, Sagittarius Moons for 2019? What energies do you see for Aquarius Sun, Sagittarius Moons for 2019? Can you please show us what they can expect? January, February, March. Aquarius Sun, Sagittarius Moons. January. February, March, please. Okay, that took a while. The hangman in reversed. Can you please show me the energies you see for them for April, May, June? April, May, June. Aquarius, Sun, Sagittarius, Moons. April, May, June. The High Priestess in the upright. Can you please show me what you see for them? July, August, September. July, August, September. Sun, Sagittarius, Moons. You guys have the Ten of Swords in reverse and October, November, December, please. Praise Sun, Sagittarius, Moons. You guys have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so let's start off with the Hangman in reverse. The Hangman in reverse is about um, kind of waiting on a decision, okay? But you aren't going to wait forever or the other person isn't going to wait forever, okay? Um, it can be about feeling a, a little bit... I'm sorry, I was looking at it. Like, I, I looked at I looked at the card and I just all of a sudden I like felt like I saw a different card. I'm like, wait a minute, what happened? But it's still the hangman. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wah, wah. all right. So um so like I said, not not kind of waiting forever on this. Some of you might feel when the hangman is reversed, it's about feeling victimized by somebody or um, you know, playing the martyr, feeling like something was done to you. I don't like the term martyr because that's you know, it, it's like a very woe is me, but um, you you could have been a victim of somebody who betrayed you or a victim of a traitor of some sort, all right? Um, and then other messages for this is kind of sacrificing, but not getting anything in, a res in return, no results, nothing kind of happening despite everything you have sacrificed. And part of this can be because you're actually holding on to um, 
something that's an idealization, something that's a fantasy, and often with the hanged man in reverse, it's better to lower that bar, to lower your expectations, to make it more attainable, okay? So this is just a few messages for you. The high priestess here speaks of secrets, usually, all right? So April, May, June, there may be secrets and mystery kind of going on. And when it comes to the high priestess, it's about connecting to your inner voice, trusting in yourself, trusting your gut, okay? Um, intuitively connecting to another person or to yourself in order to figure things out. The high priestess could be about making choices based on this, okay? So having to listen, having to go within, not going on facts, not going with things that are tangible. So something like this could kind of, you know, come up during this period of time. For some of you, if you're male, during this period of time, you could actually meet who you consider to be the perfect woman and also a woman who has mystery to her and secrets and all this other stuff. I often think of um, a Scorpio woman when I think of this for the high priestess already. So that's April, May, June. We move into July, August, September. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So you guys are recovering. Um, th this could be recovering, growing from a situation that's very traumatic, dealing with that pain, pain from the past and figuring out how to heal and how to recover from it, okay? But it can also be during this period of time that you guys are trying to resist something because you think that it's going to end up terribly, okay? So you're thinking worst case scenarios and if you follow through and you do this, then whatever happens is going to be cataclysmic and you aren't going to be able to deal with it. And then a lot of the times with that Ten of Swords in reverse, you find out you actually, you know, get the guts to go ahead and do it and it turns out not to be as bad as you thought. So realize that some of you could, for a situation like that, some of you, it can be in your head and not an actual reality, okay? For July, August, September, October, November, December, we move to the King of Pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles is not good when it comes to money, okay? This guy, either he's really he's really possessive, he's materialistic, he's a workaholic. Um, so he can be in that regard where he sits there, he holds on to his money and he's not going to let anybody, you know, kind of, um, kind of get near it. Okay. He can be a little mean with money, just like the queen of uh, pentacles can be too in the reverse. But this is a, a cautionary tale to watch your finances at the end of the month because the king of pentacles is about fraud. So somebody could be committing fraud. Um, and you could end up being the victim of it. Somebody could be promising you something and not having any follow through. The King of Pentacles is a very unstable energy. It's also the card of overspending. And since it's the end of the year and it's the holidays, some of you might be overspending. And some of you might also be gambling or you might be a victim to somebody who is gambling. So the all over message from October, November, December, just keep keep a tight hold on your finances. Just watch them a little more than usual. Try not to work too much. Um, yeah okay so i'm gonna go ahead and pull clarifiers on this i'll go over these a little more in depth in the vimeo reading so make sure you click on the link below it'll take you where you need to go otherwise guys thank you consider a personal reading if this resonated with you and thank you for your like share subscribes and support adios from veronica garnett aquarius sun sagittarius moons bye